Hey YouTube, I have a box opening to do tonight. And uh, with this box opening, I've actually already picked inside because this is an order that Pipes and Cigars messed up originally. They sent me this pipe, and if you go back a couple videos, you'll see that box opening in my reaction. But uh, this is the pipe they sent me, which isn't a bad looking pipe, as you can see. But it's just not the one that I wanted. And uh, I received a lot of comments on that video, and most of you said I should contact them and return it. I was a little nervous to do that, only because, not to contact them, but I was a little nervous to return it before they would send me another pipe. Only because most of you had um, personal experiences with pipes and cigars, and none of them were positive. So that reason I, I contacted them I contacted them anyway but um, a couple days later they responded and said you're right we clearly made a mistake and we're shipping out the one you wanted today so that was a couple days ago and when I got home from work today I had a box here so I went ahead and peeked inside I didn't want to do another box opening video where you would see my reaction of disappointment <laughs> if it wasn't the right pipe so went ahead and peeked inside and it turns out it is the right pipe this time and I'm very happy that I, I contacted them and didn't just settle for this one regardless of it being a nice pipe so do a little unveiling for you if you will here is my Bjarn Copenhagen sandblasted bent Rhodesian and I am very happy that I uh, that I contacted them and um, had them correct my order. It's a very it's a very beautiful pipe. Um, this is my, my first of this kind of shape, and I don't have another pipe that's a bent Rhodesian. And it's probably I think it's the first semi bent or maybe I'm not sure if this is considered a quarter or a half bent, but this is my first of whatever that style of bend is in the in the stem and I'm very happy with it it's a very good weight the perfect weight for clenching comfortably not too light so that it feels cheap but not so heavy that it wears your jaw out got a nice draw to it you can see it's got a military mount on it and it's got the Viking stamped the Viking helmet I guess it was what it that is um, stamped on the stem there um, going back uh, the military mount for those of you that are newer pipe smokers the military mount is just this silver band that's on the shank and as well as on the stem there so when this comes out, you can see it's got a silver band on the stem as well. It also has a little stamp on the bottom that says Viking Classic there on the uh, part that's a natural finish. Right here, the brown versus the sandblasted um, bowl. But uh, I'm very happy. Um, I appreciate your guys' comments and kind of helping me come to the conclusion that I needed to send the other one back. Kind of a funny story, uh, in the email uh, that they responded to about me addressing their mistake, they said, we're going to send you a label um, to put um, so that you can mail the, the other pipe back. And they, they made it specific, they made it clear that they wanted me to send the unsmoked pipe back. So <laughs> they, uh, they made it clear that they would be charging me for the other pipe, for this pipe. If I uh, if I didn't or if if I didn't send that back unsmoked, so it's a good thing I didn't get impatient and uh, and smoke that while I was waiting, right? So there you have it. I uh, appreciate you putting up with my uh, my music over here. I. Uh, I'm wanting to incorporate music into my videos. I like just having something for you guys to listen to as well as myself 
as I get bored of hearing myself talk. But uh, I can't really play music on my on my phone as I as I'm recording. iPhone doesn't allow for that capability. Um, and uh, kind of wanted something old fashioned too as well. I mean, it's just nice to have a record player and be able to just have a build, you know, kind of build an old collection. But uh, hopefully you guys um, are enjoying or will enjoy listening to music while I ramble on about stuff. But I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I'm enjoying making them and I love hearing your comments. I just can't really hear your comments, but I love reading your comments. And uh, I appreciate you guys uh, being willing to listen to me. So don't have a lot, a lot uh, to say that's very interesting, but I guess that's the beauty of being a pipe smoker is that you don't have to be a, you can be a man of few words, right? Found that most of the men in my life that I have the most respect for are men of few words. And when they do speak, what they say is meaningful. Well said. Is said confidently. And usually listened to. It's a good practice. Speaking less. Let's all try that. Experiment more with speaking less and see how much or how more often people actually listen to you when you do speak. Can't make any promises on my end because I tend to ramble, but. Thinking about breaking this in with some TK6 that I bought. From pipes and cigars. Some of you commented on that video of my last box opening that I should just pretty much smoke in the house regardless of what my wife thinks. You know, <laughs> kind of a an ask for forgiveness, not permission approach to the whole situation. While well, that advice is humorous, it's dangerous as well. in light of, or in the spirit of, in an effort, I should say, to be a man of few words. I'll leave you with that. God bless. We'll see you.